that we have experienced this before. Because if you look back to December, only at about 30 percent or just over that of people who are eligible for vaccines said they would want to take a vaccine. And now we're at nearly 80 percent of eligible uh, adults uh, or people uh, who are el of the el eligible age who have now received their first dose. Uh, we have launched and we announced the launch last week, or our intention to launch, uh, a major campaign to communicate with parents, to communicate with families about the safety and the efficacy of these vaccines should they get approval. We will also be prepared to have the doses needed to ensure that parents can get vaccines to their kids. But what we're really focusing on is working with pediatricians. We know that the pediatricians are uh, one of the most trusted sources of information for any parent. I can confirm that myself. And so we're really encouraging parents to talk to their pediatricians, of course, to wait for approval before uh, you know they proceed, but, um, but to have those conversations. And that will be what our uh, strategy is guided around. Thank you. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Thank you, Jane. Two questions. One is um, about the Moscow conference. Mm -hmm. The United States was not able to participate. It. What was the reason? Number two, NATO conference. Any result? And number uh, three, so many Afghan people, especially women, they are under torture of the Taliban and they have high expectation from the United States. And uh, I don't know, you guys still uh, committed to help Afghan people or United States totally forget Afghan people? Uh, absolutely not. On the last piece, uh, we remain absolutely committed to uh, helping the Afghan people. We remain the largest provider of humanitarian assistance of any country in the world. Uh, and we're committed to ensuring there is uh, the ability for people who want to leave to depart, ensuring there are flights that can depart to do that or people can cross over land and continue to work with uh, relied on uh, reliable uh, international organizations like the World Food Program to provide that assistance. In terms of the NATO conference, I know our Secretary of Defense spoke to that. I'd point you to his comments and his press conference on the ground. And on your first question, I know my colleague at the State Department, Ned Price, said that the United States supported the talks. We were unable to attend for logistical reasons. We believe the Troika Plus, which is what this forum or format is, has been an effective and constructive forum. We look forward to engaging that forum going forward, uh, but we weren't in a position to be a part of it this week, uh, but we will in the future.